It's quick off the floor. Chicago leading by 20. Outside, Levine. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Randall. Barrett against Levine. For Barrett, Levine, that's good. And now the consistency. Chicago grabs the miss. On the wing, Green. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. This is why Levine's a fan, and this is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. And the dunk by Levine! And they're playing rock-solid basketball right now. Team trusts Bain to hunt shots and not to waste touches. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Levine. And Levine throws it down. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. Here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. You know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint. Just done. Up top, Bain, defended by Jones. Pass to Aldama. Beyond the arc. Oh, it's blocked by Levine. More than he has in his career. Also doing some dirty work on the boards, too. And Chicago has possession. The Grizzlies making their last shot. And Levine, here we go. And Levine! And he sliced to the wide open with this feed. They had Horford no luck. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Here's Levine. And Levine with the slam. The ball handling skill for Levine. Outstanding at creating for himself. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T. Problem from right there. This guy's so good at using his body and his touch. Ball passes to Levine. Launches it. Nails it from three. Wade misses. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. And he's going for the oop here. And the duck by Levine. Oh, glides into Ramon that move. Ramon. Suspense in the air. Levine, nice. Play right there. Chicago has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Oh, it's stolen by Levert. Levine with a steal. And he's going for the lob. And Williams punches it home. Well, because he's such a good scorer, from passing Zach windows Levine. open up for Zach Levine. Levine comes in for ball. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Levine for three. Count that one. He's scoring it. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Oh, and the jam by Levine. Body. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And an, an impressive job on the defensive glass. It's been a struggle for them to get anything to fall. Here's Levine. And the dunk for Cleveland. Neto comes in for Darius Garland. Levine. Oh, and Mobley with the block. That's about reach, folks. The length, the athleticism, the timing of Evan Mobley. Talk is at three. Gets the three to fall. Three. And here are the Bulls now. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Ball passes to Williams. Now here's Levine. Shot clock at five. Sinks that one from the post. About that show. Back to Green. He kicks to Levine. And the jam by Levine. The added strength coming into play. Zach Levine just shrugging off the Jang. Shoots over Caruso. Jang, no luck. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Here's Levine. Good for the moment. It left his hand. The Bulls will take it the other way. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Williams finds Levine. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Chicago. But it's gone. To Rosen against Johnson. There's Levine. Oh! So 
fluid, so smooth. Levine breaking ankles out here. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Winning a gold medal for your country. You said it. It's representing your country. It was a dream come true. Outside, Levine. A three-pointer is right on. Brings the ball up for Chicago. You know, for so long, many joked about how the Spurs were always too old, right? Too old, too slow, too stuck in their same ways. Uh, but that's changing. Well, I was on a couple of those teams, too, Kevin. I remember well people six for his squad. Boston's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. And the jam by Levine. Such a fluid play. Levine is in the air right in. Disrupting the rhythm of the score. Doris, how do they accomplish that? I think it can occur, Brian, in any number of ways. The first thought you have, obviously, is being physical. Obviously, within the rules. You can try to deny touches. You can try to deny spots on the floor that players are trying to get to. It can also be psychological.